In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily remember the proper steps you must take on a turnabout. These steps and these tips will be very important, especially if you're just new to doing the turnabout. Because so many people fall down on observation, looks and gears because they get a bit confused or flustered when they stop on the turnabout. And the acronym I'm going to share with you will put a stop to all that. I hope you enjoy this content. If you do, don't be afraid to show some support by PayPal or Revolut as I strive to make as many driving lesson videos free of charge to the learners of Ireland. Links in the description if you would like to support me. Sometimes on a turnabout, a learner may forget some important tasks because they might just be stressed or nervous. So if you look at this um, little diagram here, for example, when you move off here, it's important to remember things like using the handbrake and observing properly and making sure you look all around fully before you go back. And the same here, uh, because a lot of people may misjudge the hill, they might not know it's a hill. So when you stop on the turnabout, there are a number of important things you need to do to make sure that you are doing it efficiently and properly. And that's where this here can come in very handy. Yes, this is a picture of a hog, H-O-G, hog. And the reason I'm showing you this picture is because when you stop over here, for example, where point B is, you need to remember H is the first letter of the word hog. So H is for hill. Be aware of the hill and use the handbrake. So H can be hill or handbrake um, if needed. It's not always needed now, but sometimes it is. So H is for, for handbrake or hill. O then is the second letter of the word hog, O is for observation. So make sure you observe all around you, good full 360 degree look around um, when you're stopped here and, and here of course. So that's H, that's H for hill and H for handbrake and also O for observation. And then G, well G is for gear. Make sure you're in the proper gear moving off because a lot of people from time to time, they might forget to go into the right gear or they might accidentally go into first instead of reverse and they might go forward instead of going back and so on and so forth. So if you remember this HOG acronym, it can prove to be a good foundation stone for doing a really, really good turnabout. So H for hill, O for observe and G for making sure you're in the right gear. I'm going to show you a turnabout now um, this is when I was doing one out yesterday, filming some footage for this. So have a look at this turnabout and let's see if you can spot the mistakes. Okay, so let's look at that turnabout again now and I'll talk you through the rough edges that were on that. It starts off pretty okay, some good observation, but look at the steering as I go across the road to the right. It's a little bit slow. I should be steering faster than that. Again, the looks are reasonable here when I stop, but as I'm reversing back then, I'm not looking enough over both shoulders. I seem to be focusing a little bit too much on the left shoulder. So I need to be getting the right shoulder more at the end just to give me a bit more spatial awareness with the curb getting closer to the back wheels. As I go back here then, it appears that I don't go back far enough as things turn out and I end up stopping at the top of a camber or at the top of the rise in the middle of the road because very often the middle of the road will be higher than the sides for drainage purposes. And what I fail to do here is I fail to hold my foot on the brake and this causes the car then to sort of roll forward a little bit unexpectedly and because of that I haven't actually got the proper looks in because the unexpected roll forward has caught me by surprise. This leads to me getting a little bit flustered 
and it ultimately means that I'm going to need an extra turn. So I'm going to have to do this turnabout in five turns instead of three. Now it's not a terribly big deal if I do it in five instead of three, but if the road is wide enough, then I really should be doing it in three because it looks better, it looks more efficient and more confident if I do it in three. And then as I reverse here, I stop okay and then I just put it straight into gear and try to go. I don't do any proper looks and I also end up rolling back as well. So clearly I should have used the handbrake there. And I should have known this because a couple of seconds earlier, I knew there was a camber there or a hill when I rolled forward unexpectedly. So I should have made a mental note of that then that there's a hill there and I may well need the handbrake the next time I stop on the turnabout. I end up having to reapply the handbrake and I'm actually looking down as well, which is not really a good look as well because when you're looking down, you're not looking around you. You don't want to be taking your eyes off the road um, on the turnabout. You need to know where your handbrake and gears are automatically without looking down. And all these little mistakes that are building up mean that I'm not properly concentrating and therefore I don't get the proper looks as I'm pulling away. It's just some basic looks there, um, not a 360 degree look at all. And I should have got you know better, more looks all around there, uh, but I didn't. And uh, that's where you risk losing marks on observation there. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the HOG acronym and you'll see how it can be useful to help you remember the important steps when you stop on the turnabout. So first of all then, I'm gonna go into first gear. I'm gonna indicate to say that I'm moving out. Now full look all around. Get the bite ready there. Now good quick steers. Checking as I'm going here. And a nice gentle stop here at the end. So H is for hill. I feel like I'm on the hill, so I'm gonna use the handbrake. Oh, observe. Observation all around. Make sure I'm in the right gear then. And I am. And then I get the bite. Back I go, no dry steering. Check in, nice and slow. Here as well then. So I think I'm on a hill, so I'll use the handbrake, yes. I'll observe all around me. Make sure I'm in the proper gear then. And off I go, just get the last look as well. And there we go. And that's how we do a turnabout. So if you're a little bit confused or sometimes you might get flustered when you stop on the turnabout about the routine in which to do things, about when you should do this or when you should do that, I hope the hog can help you to do the right steps at the right time. So I hope this video is going to help make you more confident the next time you do a turnabout. If you enjoyed it, don't be afraid to give it a like and I'll be back soon with another video. This is my email here, dayandtai at gmail.com. If you'd like me to analyze your report sheet or if you have any questions about driving, I'll get back to you in a few days if you email me, okay? Thanks for watching. August Longfall.